This is Mike with Dornlock Tips, and I've got a product to show you today. Well, I know you're like me. As a locksmith, you've been waiting for a product that you don't have to drill a million holes in the building if they say, oh, it's going to be a card reading lock. This lock by TriTech, a cabinet lock, needs no wiring. None. Needs a coin cell battery and any badge that is in the facility already. This thing reads it. Has beautiful cloud-based software and best of all, runs on a coin cell battery. So let's get started. You're going to love it. So I just received from TriTech all their wonderful little toys. They make card access, I mean, extravaganza here. Hopefully you're going to you're going to really like it when it's I explain to you these locks they're great. I'm thinking you're thinking, "Oh, I got to wire all this stuff." You know, another lock, got to wire it. Well, guess what? You don't have to wire anything. You don't have to have some repeater in the building to talk to these locks because what do they do? They're card access. Look at this. These are different various cards. This is from Allegiant. You know, you know them NDE locks, right? You get these in a box. So you, you want to save them because they're great cards. And look at that. Opens right up. So you have these beautiful locks. No infrastructure. No, no repeaters in the building, guys. So you, you guys that are doing access control, you, you really need something like this. If, you, if your client says, hey, I want to put a bunch of card reading locks and cabinets, you're going to say, oh, no, right? But guess what? You don't have to say, oh, no, you can, you can make some money because these are individual locks that read to a cloud and they run on a little coin cell battery. Two gears on a coin cell. Can you believe that? So how, how does it all work? Well, let me explain this one reader to you. This is a, a, a reader that mounts on a jam. I just put it on the door because that's, that's where I did it. You know, it was easier. I had another reader there. So this is a display I built. So, so you mount, mount it on the jam or on the wall, right? And, I mean, you could do it on the door, but who wants to do the loop? That's a big job. So you mount it on the, on the jam, and you have to have 12 volts to it because you have, you have a electronic latch. So the, the latch is fired off by the card. Let's see how that works. Pretty cool, really. So this one is very strong, easy to read. You can stay out an inch or so. We'll let it cycle there. Look at that. Because of the fact that you are running on 12 volts. But I want you to rethink your thoughts on the 12 volt system. They, uh, I talked to the guys down at Gold Zero and they said that they could, that their little unit here, this Yeti 200X, would really take the place of a power supply. You know, a power supply that you all buy that costs, you know, four, five, six hundred dollars and you stick up you have to screw it to the wall. Well, you don't have to do that with this one. <laughs> this is this has got the this is a the opposite way you've been thinking about uh, access control power. So you buy this two hundred and forty dollar unit, which I got it on sale. It was an open box, and you put it up in the attic and you plug this little twelve volt plug into it in the front, and then you run the power to your unit right, wherever this is mounted, two wires in, down, you know, the wall, very little work to really be done here, and then two wires come off this to your, to your little, uh, you know, electronic latch, and you're set to go, because this all uses the same software. You talk to this the same way you do all these electronic locks. No infrastructure, no wiring. You see, I, I have no wiring here. It's just in a box. So, how do you get the information to the lock? Because that's kind of important, right? All these cards you're talking about. How do you get all that information into that lock? Well, we have an app. 
So we use this little app by TriTech, and I'll show you how it works. I'm gonna talk to one of these locks. I gotta wake it up, because they stay, you save the battery because they're not always alive. So I just touch that lock, it's awake. Now I'm talking to this lock, it's starting the audit trail, and wait for it. There it goes. So it gave all that information, back and forth. If I had cards enrolled, here's the enroller. You plug the enroller into your computer, and the uh, enroller, you know, sends the information to a cloud-based software. Hooray for TriTech! It's cloud-based. And the, the reason why I'm happy to hear that is because I've had so many pieces of software that are on computers that don't work. This, they can change it. Let's say tomorrow they want to update this thing and make it better, way better than it is. Well, it, it's, uh, you know, we don't know that. We don't have to send our computer in or wait for an update. We just let them do their thing and we get killer software, all cloud-based, that talks back and forth to these locks. I mean, so quick, you can't believe it, through their little app. And look at that, look at the software, really, it's cool. You got users and log, and, and the, if they need updates, you just you just toggle between all these switches. And then here's the, the folks that go into the lock. I mean, this is really beautiful little software. I've had fun playing around with it, really. Uh, it, and it won't take long to learn because there's really no learning curve. I mean, you, you got an app, you talk to the lock, everything goes fine. And, oh, you know the beauty of this thing? Oh, this enroller? It's it's uh, uh, Bluetooth. Bluetooth. So you can have this in your pocket, and you can have not the app going, but the software on your little phone or, or a tablet or a pad or whatever you like because it's all cloud-based, and you, you just talk to that uh, cloud, and, and when you want to enroll somebody, somebody comes running up to you, and let's say it's, it's a nurse or somebody of that nature, and she comes up, she says, I gotta, I gotta get, have my card put in. Well, we've all had that, right? And you're like, oh, I gotta go to the office, or you don't have to do any of that. You carry your little card enroller with you, and then you got your app and it talks Bluetooth, you hold your card up, boom, it's in. And then you talk to the lock. I, c I couldn't find anything easier than this, really. It's, I had played with so many of these things and been so disappointed because you gotta run so many wires, it's crazy. So we've got, we've got their other locks. You know, this is just the, the regular, uh, this is a great lock too, but, um, you know, it's for lockers or station mode. You know, station is like, you put the numbers in, and they can go vice versa. The lock can be in station mode, or you can change it over to locker mode, which is pretty cool. Uh, nice little lock, and and look at this little feature. You got to keep up. You just you can unlock it that way. So in the case of like code black or something, where you have to get in there right away, emergency to get in that cabinet, because that code black in the hospital is a bomb, right? So we don't. We don't hinder the uh, security guy. He just carries a fob or there's one in the office in the desk drawer. And he pushes that and he can get into all the lockers. You know, make sure there's no bombs in there. So we got our power supply, they suggest. You know, uh, you're going to get this from Gold Zero. You're going you're gonna to buy this card reader for, you know, door openings. And, when, and any flavor of electronic latch that you really want. This will read, go over to it. It doesn't have enough power though. They told me that uh, it won't run like a mag lock. So it takes, uh, you know, intermittent power. This fires off and, you know, sends information to this latch. So it's not always throwing power. It would be cool if it could do that. Maybe that's down the line. We'll have to hound them for that. So we got we got the, the little locker locks, and then we got all this. All these locks will read any badge. So if you have, if you have a uh, a badge that you wear every day, right? You got your badge on you, and and the people say, "Well, I, we're not changing badges. We've got to have the badge that we all have because you know we don't want six badges." And I don't blame them. 
I mean, that's a pain. You just take their badge and you enroll it right in front of them and you're making money because that's why we're doing this, right? You're not doing it to just walk around and, and have a bad product and say, oh man, you know, I can't do that. I'm going to have to find another lock. Wait, this is the lock. Quite happy with it. Love to uh, show off this stuff. I'm glad I finally can. It's beautiful. And if you have any questions, just just call up TriTech. Tell them, Mike, it, that uh, Door and Lock Tips sent you, and they'll be happy to sell you some locks, I'm sure. And then there's Goal Zero. They're on sale. If you're going to buy this stuff, try to get it on sale. I mean, this that is the best power supply, I think, for the money. Uh, you know, it, it goes on sale all the time. I think that was $300 and I paid $240. Uh, zero shipping, by the way. So you get stuff like that on sale and you will be happy. So hopefully hit that hit that uh, like button. Tell TriTech I said hi and uh, subscribe and we'll send out more videos like this. Thank you very much.